Okay, you're all here, so that means no casualties um, to follow us hat. That's good to know. Um, welcome to FOSDEM uh, 2015. And if my laptop wants to go to the next slide, I can tell you something about it. There we go. Um, like last year, uh, we decided to uh, turn off legacy IP connectivity on the main FOSDEM BSS ID. So this is nothing new. Uh, as far as I know, everything just works, except for Android phones. There's a bug. Uh, and I hope there are people in this room who can finally fix it. If you've got an Android phone, your battery will just drain while it looks for an IPv4 DHCP server forever and ever and ever. So please fix that bug, people. Um, for everyone else, the uh, ESSID FOSDEP is a plain IPv6 only uh, network. We have the, the usual root advertisement, status auto of DHCP to give you recursive DNS. And we also do all the transition measures goodness, so even uh, legacy-only hosts on the, the wild internet should just work. Um, the only thing is, because we're doing DNS uh, 6.4, our DNS server lies to you if you try to reach a IPv4-only host. But, you know, we'll do DNS site validation for you, uh, but, well, you know, you have to trust us. Uh, networks are hard. Uh, we were up all night uh, fighting with strange bugs. There are maybe last minute bugs in the NAT64, the NS64, they will be fixed, they will be squashed. Uh, please don't jump to the legacy network unless you really, really have to or you have an Android phone. The uh, legacy network uh, runs the legacy IPv4 protocol in addition to IPv6. It has the usual uh, DNS servers which don't lie to you. It has everything you expect from a normal conference network. But as I say, please stay on the Fosdem network and fix your bugs because in 2015 the IPv6 protocol is turning 20 years old this year. I think it's time the bugs were fixed. Right, uh, speaking of networks and being up all night, uh, it still shocks people that we don't actually own this university. We just borrow it for a weekend. Uh, we are very, very grateful uh, to the University of Lincoln of Bruxelles, a fine academic institution in Brussels. They have been uh, lending us their infrastructure. Uh, for the past 14 years, uh, also our first edition was across the roads at the uh, Daily Bay campus. Uh, thank you very much to the uh, Bay for letting us borrow this place. And on that note, please also keep it clean. Um, don't put any stickers on the walls. Don't uh, you know, no graffiti. I, I well, doesn't even yeah. Uh, if you see glass, uh, just pick it up and put it in the uh, the glass containers so people can't fall over it. But thanks to the venue, I think there's a lot of people actually attending this year. Let's uh, you know, thank them, thank them out. Uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, FOSDEM by now is the largest free open source conference in, well, at least Europe and probably the world. Uh, I haven't attended them all, but FOSDEM is busier. Uh, there are a lot of people at FOSDEM and we uh, have always had a crowding problem. We do put these signs on the, uh, on the lecture theatres and the uh, developer rooms. If they're full, please just go and sit in the hallway. We do have live streaming. I'll talk a bit more about that in a couple of minutes. If the rooms are full, please just go sit outside and watch a stream, or go sit in the next room and watch the, screen, the stream. Uh, don't, you know, don't drive together. Uh, having said that as well, uh, safety and you know, just feeling safe in general. Many other open source conferences have been writing increasingly lengthy and increasingly precise and specific instructions on how to behave at a conference. We are not doing that. We have, you know, we expect you all to be adults. But if you do run into awkward social situations or you get lost in a corridor or a hallway or whatever, please don't hesitate to, you know, shout one of our uh, yellow or orange t-shirts for help, you know, directions or sorting out some awkward social situations, whatever. Staff and volunteers are here to help you. Uh, Use them, that's what they're here for. Right, uh, that out of the way, that was all old. Uh, new things. Uh, we have most of the campus at our disposal this year, and we moved some stuff around because, you know, it wouldn't be fun if we didn't move stuff around. Uh, we added more food. We used to have food there, we've now added food here. So, well, there will still be queues everywhere, but if there's a very long queue there, there might be a marginally shorter queue there. Uh, that's in front of this building. It's out there on the uh, on the road on the uh, at the uh, uh, What else is new this year? Uh, nothing much is new. Uh, oh, I should point out that it was freezing briefly last night, so some of the uh, roads are a bit slippery. If you're trying to get from the H building to here, 
Uh, please don't die on this stretch of road. <laughs> it's, it's slippery, you fall down, and we have to collect you at the bottom, and it's just, it's just messy, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really not fun. Don't do that. Uh, you've all got here, so I don't have to point out that there are roadworks on the Avenue Go. Uh, if you think people are lost, tell them that they need to take the other bus stop, and uh, they'll find this. Good. Uh, as threatened or promised, we're recording everything this year. Last year, the asterisk had a snarky, a snarky comment about a certain developer room that was being difficult. We had a good conversation with them, and um, they're also being recorded. So everything is being recorded, every single developer room, every single presentation is being recorded. We've not yet started putting up uh, cameras in the hallways to watch you as you uh, go about your business. We've not started putting up cameras in the toilets or anywhere, just the presentations, really, honestly. Uh, and this year we're also streaming most of them live. We have some network issues and we have some speakers who requested uh, please don't stream me live because I might say something I will regret later. Um, so we're streaming most presentations thanks to our friends from uh, the Mist Server project, which is an open source media server. It works great. They were also up all night making this work. It's on live.fossil.org. Hopefully it also works on HTTPS, so we're HTTPS everywhere. Um, and Google has kindly offered at literally last minutes to uh, push the bandwidth for us. So anyone, anyone anywhere in the world should be able to watch the streams. I see a camera has also turned up in this room, so uh, that's good. So watch the streams, as I said, if the room is full, go and sit in the hallway, go and sit in another room and just watch the stream. If you're going to sit in another room, your headphones, of course, doesn't mean say. Good. And that brings me to my last slide. If you've been watching these opening talks for a couple of years, you'll notice that they get shorter and shorter every year. This is because we have more and more sponsors every year, and more and more real speakers who have interesting things to say. So, sponsors, uh, especially the streaming and the video recording, is high watering expensive. You don't want to know how expensive renting 30 odd cameras and audio equipment is. It is fantastically expensive, and these wonderful people pay for it. They are amazing. Uh, to point out the spread of sponsors we have, we don't just have the usual open source companies like Red Hat, who are our keynotes, our um, you know our cornerstones of Pulsar this year again, uh, and you know the Google of the world, the HPs of the world, the usual big presences at uh, open source conferences. But we also have uh, the BMW Group make cars. They're a huge consumer of open source software. They're also hiring. We have the List, which is a fashion company of all things. They're also using open source and they're sponsoring our conference. Trivago is a travel agent or a travel website, so it's completely everywhere. We've got a whole spread from um, search engines to fashion to cars, uh, to books, to embedded devices, just about everything. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, our sponsors, Cisco and Colt, the network. Uh, these people are Colt people and our Cisco people. They were up all night making the network work for you, for free, for nothing. Uh, thank you very much, all our sponsors. companies are hiring. We have an announcement corner with flyers uh, pointing out job advertisements in the H building. If you are looking for a job and you want to work on open source software at a fantastic company, go and pick up their flyers, say thank you for sponsoring Fosnum, and I hope that next year we have a similarly large and broad spread of sponsors. Thank you very much and enjoy the conference. I will now leave you in the capable hands of much more interesting speakers than I. Uh, and you have about 10 minutes to scurry all around campus to uh, have fun at the stands. Thank you very much.